Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to slice up photos for your Instagram grid using GIMP. This is GIMP version 2.10.14 which at the time of this tutorial is the latest version of GIMP. But of course, before I get into that, I wanna direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here, as well as my GIMP book of layers and GIMP and Inkscape help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my best-selling GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can check out any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimpschool.com. And you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. Your premium membership comes with access to my GIMP Help Center app, ebooks including my GIMP Book of Layers, and exclusive content not seen on YouTube. You can start your premium membership with a seven day free trial and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. I'll be using a couple of free stock photos for this tutorial on Pexels. So here is the first one, just click free download. I went with the full size download. And here is the second one, same thing, just click on free download. I'll link both of these in the description of the video. So I'll just minimize that. So here is our original photo and you can see here is the final result. I've got this cropped into nine different squares for the first one here. So in Instagram, it usually has three photos in a single row. So this would be three rows, three columns of photos. So that's one way of doing this. The other way here is the other photo I'll be using is to chop this up into a single row with three columns. I'll show you how to complete both of these projects. They are a little different and I'll show you why. It's gonna involve a little bit of math, but don't worry, it's not too hard. So I'll start by opening up this first one by going to File and you can go to Open or in my case, I'll go to Open Recent and I'll just click on the photo. So here is the photo. The issue is we need to chop this up into three rows and three columns, so nine photos total. We need them all to have the same aspect ratio and pretty much be the same size. It's gonna be better if they're all the same size. So we have to calculate how we wanna chop this photo up into nine different parts. Luckily, it's not as difficult as it sounds, especially in this case, you'll see why in a second. So we're gonna start by cropping this into the aspect ratio we want. So I'll come over here and grab my crop tool. When it comes to Instagram, they typically prefer that you upload photos with a four by five aspect ratio or a five by four aspect ratio. There's also some other options like one to one if you're gonna use a square. But in this case, let's say we wanna use a four by five aspect ratio. Because we have an equal number of rows and columns, so we have three rows and we have three columns, nine images total, we can crop this image right now to be the same exact aspect ratio as our final images will all be. So all nine of these images will be four by five aspect ratios. So that applies when you have like a two by two grid. So if you have two photos in one row by two columns, so four images total, you can also just crop your starting image to be the same as the final aspect ratio. So I'll come over here and check this fixed option here. Make sure this is set to aspect ratio. So these are the tool options under the crop tool. And I'm just gonna type four colon five. So that'll give me the aspect ratio I want. And now I'm gonna come over here to the image and I'm going to click and drag. Make sure your allow growing option is turned off. That way when you do reach the edge of your canvas, it doesn't go outside the canvas. And then you can click and drag the crop area down a little bit and adjust how you want this. Once you have it where you want it, you can release your mouse and then just click once inside of here and that will crop the image. Now that we have our aspect ratio, we need to divide this up into those nine different images. So we want each one to be one third of the width and the height. So we're gonna set some guides here to do that. So I'll come over here and go to image, guides, new guide by percent. And so first I'm just gonna type 33.33 because we're splitting this into a third. If you're splitting this in half, just do 50%. If you're splitting it into, for whatever reason, you know, fours, then just do 25%. But in this case, it's pretty common to split things into threes for Instagram because it is three photos deep for a single row. So we'll go with 33.33 and we'll start with the vertical direction. So I'll click okay. There's our first guide, we'll repeat that. So we'll go to image guides, new guide by percent, and I'll type in 66.66, click OK. Now we'll do the same going the other way, so we'll do the same horizontally. I'll go to image, guides, new guide by percent, and 33.33, we'll go horizontal on the direction and click OK. And go image, guides, 
new guides by percent, and I'll type in 66.66, hit the enter key, and there we go. So there's the preview of how this is gonna look. Of course, you can always go back and recrop the image if you don't like the way the image is currently being sliced up, but this is gonna be fine for me for now. So once I have all my guides set, I'll go to image, slice using guides, and you'll see that will generate a bunch of new images over here off to the right. So each slice is going to be opened up into its own composition, its own brand new composition. And this is what it's gonna look like on Instagram. So the first row will look like this. You go down to the second column, the second row is gonna look like this. And the third column, the third row is gonna look like that. So once you have this sliced up, go to File, Export As, export it as a JPEG to whatever folder you want hit export and you're gonna do that for all nine images. You're going to wanna to upload the last image first. So you're gonna do this one first and then you're just gonna to go to the left here and upload each one of these until you get to the very first image. This will be the last image you upload to Instagram and that way it'll show as this one on the top row, this one on the second row and this one on the third row. All right, so that was the method for the case when we had equal rows and columns. So we had a three by three grid or nine images total. What if you have an uneven grid? So what if you have, for example, three rows and a single column? Well, it's gonna be slightly different. You're gonna to have to do a little bit more math here. So I'll start by opening up our second image. I'll go to File. And again, in my case, I can just go to Open Recent and I'm going to click on that photo there. So this is the photo you saw from the start. I'll hold Control and zoom out. We can't simply crop this with a 4x5 crop because then when we slice that up into three different images, it's going to be a lot skinnier than 4x5. So what we need to do is we need to multiply one of the dimensions of the aspect ratio in order to match what we're trying to do here in the end. So in this case, it's a 4x5 image and it's a 3x1 row. So what we'll do is we'll multiply that 4 by that 3, so we'll get 12, and we'll multiply the 5 by the 1, and that's going to give us 5. And so we're gonna end up with a 12 by five final aspect ratio. So that math's not too bad. We have a 12 by five, but how do we convert that into something usable here? How do we know what to do with that number? Well, you can take the 12, divide it by five, that's gonna give you 2.4. And all that means is that one of the dimensions has to be 2.4 times larger than the other dimension. In this case, we have a 3500 by 1914 image. I know personally that I wanna keep this at a 3500 width. So what I can do is take 3500, and if I just pull up a simple calculator here, take 3500, divide it by 2.4, hit the enter key, that's gonna give me 1,458.33. So that is going to be the height we're gonna use for our image. And this is going to ensure that when we slice this up into three different images, each image is gonna have that four by five aspect ratio. So I'll minimize this and I'll grab my crop tool. So we'll come over here and we're gonna type in 3500 for the first one, hit the colon button, and then 1458.33 for the height or the second figure here. All right, so once we have that, I'm going to click on my composition here and just drag my mouse. So you'll see that's the landscape option. If your image is gonna be taller, you can switch over to the portrait option. That's not gonna be the case for us. So I'm just gonna drag this all the way to the right side of the image and make sure this drags all the way to the left side. And now I can reposition the crop based on how I want it. So I'll go right about here and then just click once. So now our image is cropped and we can perform the same steps from the last one. We need to split this up using the guides. So I'll go to image, guides, new guide by percent, and we can start with vertical. And actually this is the only direction we're gonna need because it's only gonna be a single column. So we don't need the horizontal. And I can stick with that figure for now. So 66.66, that's two thirds of the way over. And now we just need one third of the way over. So I'll go to image, guides, new guide by percent. And this one will be one third of the way over. 33.33 and I'll click okay. So now our image is split up into thirds. And finally, I'll go to image, slice using guides. And now this is sliced up into thirds and you can see this is what it would look like on Instagram. So you'd wanna upload this one on the far right first, this middle one second, and the one on the far left third. And of course you can go to file, export as, and you could just export each one of these as a JPEG before you upload to Instagram.
All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to click the bell icon and be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.